Have you ever wondered about the secrets hidden in ancient texts? What if I told you there's a book so controversial it was banned for 2,000 years? Welcome to Mystery, where today we unravel the mysteries of the Book of Enoch, a manuscript that could change everything you think you know about our origins in the universe. There exists a book in the annals of history that holds answers to questions about the origins of the universe. Because of its revelations, this book was banned and subsequently lost for over 2,000 years. The Book of Enoch is one of the most controversial books known to humanity. Compared to its contentious peers like Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis or Salman Rushdie's The Satanic Verses, the Book of Enoch makes them look like child's play. We first encounter Enoch in Genesis 5. Enoch was favored by God so immensely that he did not experience death but was taken directly to heaven. This act raises more questions than it answers. Who was this man so righteous that even death could not touch him? Enoch remains a mysterious figure, known only through fleeting mentions in the Bible, which leaves us yearning for more about his extraordinary life. Enoch's brief mention in Genesis 5, 21 to 24, tells us that he walked faithfully with God and then was no more because God took him away. This cryptic passage has intrigued scholars and theologians for centuries. Why was Enoch chosen for such a unique fate? What made him so special in the eyes of God? These questions set the stage for the exploration of a book that dives deep into Enoch's life and his extraordinary experiences. Enoch was not forgotten by the early church fathers and ancient philosophers. Figures like Justin Martyr, Irenaeus, Origen, and Clement of Alexandria all mentioned the Book of Enoch. The Epistle of Barnabas, from the early 2nd century, extensively used Enoch's writings. The ancient Roman philosopher Tertullian even called the Book of Enoch Holy Scripture. For the first 300 years after Christ, the Book of Enoch was as widely read and popular as today's Harry Potter series. The early references to Enoch highlight his significance in the early Christian community. The early church fathers often referenced Enoch's prophecies and teachings to support their theological arguments. The book's popularity during the first few centuries after Christ indicates that it was considered an essential text by many early Christians. This widespread acceptance underscores the profound impact the Book of Enoch had on the religious and philosophical discourse of the time. But then the Council of Laodicea deemed the Book of Enoch controversial and wrong, leading to its banning. This effectively erased its credibility, and it was gradually lost to the tides of time, shrouded in obscurity. The ban was so effective that even today, the Book of Enoch is absent from the Bible. The Council of Laodicea's decision to ban the Book of Enoch was driven by several factors. The book's detailed accounts of fallen angels, the Watchers, and their forbidden knowledge posed a challenge to the established biblical canon. Additionally, the multiple authorship and inconsistencies within the text raised questions about its authenticity. These issues contributed to the book's decline in credibility and its eventual exclusion from the biblical canon. Interest in the Book of Enoch was rekindled during the Protestant Reformation. Whispers of its existence resurfaced, although many forgeries also emerged, capitalizing on the public's hunger for truth. It wasn't until Scottish explorer James Bruce found the authentic Book of Enoch in Ethiopia that the world rediscovered this ancient manuscript. Preserved by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the text was written in Ge'ez, an ancient Semitic language. It is believed to date back to between the 3rd and 1st centuries BC. James Bruce's discovery of the Book of Enoch in Ethiopia in 1773 was a significant milestone in the book's history. Bruce's expedition to Ethiopia was driven by his curiosity and determination to uncover the secrets of this enigmatic text. He brought back three copies of the manuscript, which were subsequently translated into English. The translation of the Book of Enoch opened the door for scholars and theologians to study its contents and explore its profound implications. The manuscript Bruce discovered is composed of five distinct parts, each offering a different glimpse into Enoch's life. These parts include Enoch's encounters with the Watchers, his celestial journeys, and his apocalyptic visions. This ancient manuscript offers a complex and profound narrative that covers everything from the origin of sin to the end of the world. This section details the fall of the Watchers, angels who descended to Earth and mated with human women, resulting in the birth of the Nephilim. 
It describes the corruption and chaos that followed, and Enoch's role in mediating between the Watchers and God, also known as the Similitudes of Enoch. This part contains Enoch's visions of the future, including the coming of the Messiah, the final judgment, and the establishment of a new heaven and earth. This section provides detailed descriptions of the movements of the heavenly bodies, the calendar system, and the cosmology of the universe as revealed to Enoch by the angel Uriel. In this part, Enoch recounts his dream visions, which include symbolic representations of historical events and prophecies about the future. The final section contains moral and ethical teachings, exhortations, and prophecies, emphasizing the importance of righteousness and the consequences of sin. The Book of Enoch potentially influenced the Book of Genesis and other parts of the Bible. Some apostles even quoted Enoch in the New Testament. For instance, Jude 1 cites Enoch 1 9, underscoring Enoch's prophetic visions. These references suggest that early Christian writers held the Book of Enoch in high regard. The parallels between the Book of Enoch and the Bible are striking. For example, Genesis 6 1 4 and 1st Enoch 6 1 8 both describe the union of the sons of God with the daughters of men and the resulting birth of the Nephilim. This connection indicates that the authors of Genesis were likely aware of the Enochian tradition and may have drawn upon it when composing their accounts. The influence of the Book of Enoch on biblical texts highlights its significance as a source of ancient wisdom and knowledge. The Book of Enoch expands on many events only briefly mentioned in Genesis. Enoch's tours of hidden and secret places on earth and in heaven such as Sheol, the Jewish afterlife, the abyss, holy mountains, the ten heavens, the gates of heaven, and the homes of the angels offer detailed narratives that fuel our curiosity about these mysterious realms. The book also describes Enoch's encounters with the Watchers, celestial beings who descended to earth, bringing both wisdom and chaos. Enoch's celestial journeys are particularly fascinating. He describes traveling through the ten heavens, each with its unique characteristics and inhabitants. Enoch's encounters with the Watchers provide a detailed account of their descent to earth and their subsequent corruption. These narratives offer a rich tapestry of ancient mythology and theology, blending elements of Jewish, Christian, and possibly even Sumerian traditions. The Watchers, according to Enoch, were not human. They are depicted as luminous beings with immense power and knowledge. This description has led some researchers, like Swiss author Eric von Daniken, to propose that the Watchers were extraterrestrial beings. Enoch's accounts of the Watchers' fiery chariots, which moved with thunderous noise at incredible speeds, sound strikingly similar to modern UFO sightings. The Watchers are described as angels who descended to Earth out of lust for human women. Led by their chief, Samyaza, they taught humanity various forms of forbidden knowledge, including metallurgy, magic, and astronomy. These teachings led to the corruption of mankind and ultimately brought about divine judgment. The parallels between the Watchers and the Anunnaki as well as their resemblance to modern UFO accounts add a layer of intrigue and mystery to Enoch's narratives. Interestingly, Enoch's descriptions of the Watchers bear a resemblance to ancient Sumerian myths about the Anunnaki, deities who also descended from the heavens to impart knowledge to humanity. These parallels suggest a possible shared origin or influence among these ancient narratives. The Sumerians, who lived in Mesopotamia, believed that the Anunnaki were gods who came down from the sky to teach humanity various skills and knowledge. These deities were often depicted as giant beings with advanced technological abilities. The similarities between the Watchers and the Anunnaki raise intriguing questions about the interconnectedness of ancient mythologies and the potential influence of extraterrestrial beings on early human civilizations. The Watchers' union with human women produced the Nephilim, a race of giants who wreaked havoc on Earth. These beings were enormous, powerful, and destructive. Remarkably, giant skeletons have been found in various parts of the world, supporting the existence of such beings. These discoveries add a layer of credibility to Enoch's accounts and fuel further speculation. The Nephilim are described as towering giants with immense strength and voracious appetites. 
They consumed vast amounts of resources and caused widespread destruction. The discovery of giant skeletons in places like the United States, the Middle East, and other regions supports the idea that a race of giants once roamed the Earth. These findings provide physical evidence that aligns with the Biblical and Enochian accounts of the Nephilim. The Book of Enoch is filled with prophecies, some of which have reportedly come true. The reasons for its exclusion from the Bible are manifold. One major reason is the book's multiple authorship and inconsistencies. Another is its portrayal of sin and redemption, which sometimes contradicts biblical accounts. For instance, while the Bible attributes the root of all sin and evil to Satan, the Book of Enoch often blames Azazel, a fallen angel. This discrepancy, along with the book's detailed accounts of fallen angels repenting, challenges traditional biblical teachings. One of the most significant prophecies in the Book of Enoch is the prediction of the Great Flood. Enoch is instructed to warn his great-grandson Noah about the impending deluge that will destroy all life on Earth. This prophecy, which predates the biblical account of the Flood, suggests that the Book of Enoch may have served as a source for the Genesis narrative. The book also contains visions of the final judgment, the coming of the Messiah, and the establishment of a new heaven and earth. In summary, the Book of Enoch offers significant insights into ancient beliefs and human curiosity. Its narratives bridge gaps between ancient cultures, biblical texts, and modern theories about extraterrestrial influences. Whether viewed as historical truth or captivating mythology, the Book of Enoch remains a vital text for anyone interested in exploring the mysteries of our origins and the universe. The Book of Enoch's significance lies not only in its content, but also in its enduring impact on religious thought and human imagination. It challenges us to question our understanding of history, spirituality, and the cosmos. By delving into this ancient manuscript, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of human belief and the timeless quest for knowledge. Follow Mystery for more deep dives into the world's most intriguing and forbidden historical texts.